What's up, what's up, everybody? We are here. We are getting unloaded. Woo, I'm tired. Y'all want to know some of the things you have to do when you're tank driver? Stay tuned, I'll show you. What's up, what's up everybody? We're back. Back with another video. Woo. Man. One thing about tanking. It's not like a drive van, not like a reefer. You pull everything out your trailer, guess what? You know you're empty. You don't have to worry about anything. If, it, if you can see it, you pull it off. Whew. Downside to tanking, tanking requires fall to run it towards your valve if you don't have fall guess what you're not getting it off you'll get it till it gets there to the valve then guess what whatever's left in that trailer we've actually had loads our valves at the back of the trailer but guess what the driveway slopes down to the front and there's nothing you can freaking do um, the way you have to come in are certain ways you can only unload so in instances like that, if you want to make sure you don't have heel, for those who don't know what heel is, heel is called what they call leftover product in your trailer. Um, you only want to make sure you get all the trailer out because tank washes charge money for each gallon. It could be anywhere between 10 bucks and $30 a gallon for each gallon of product left in your trailer that they have to go dispose of. So you always want to make sure you get it off. I'll show you how I am, y'all. We are hooked up right here. Got our two sections of hose because one just wasn't quite long enough. Of course, use your tie straps. Use your straps on everything. And I've got a strap there also. But, I don't know if y'all can tell, this, this driveway and all roadway slopes down. And slopes down over there. But since the valve's here, you can't back in because then you're really sloped down that way. So you have to pull in to here and this actually dead ends into the river. There's a river right there. So this is what I had to do to unload. I keep two by sixes on the truck. So I've got two two by sixes underneath the landing gear and I had to disconnect the trailer. And then you have to roll the trailer up. So, as y'all can see, I'm a good 10 inches over the top of the trailer that you have to roll that trailer up to get it. So what you want to do, you want to wait until you're, if you have an axle gauge, you want to wait until you make sure on the axle gauge you're close to empty because that's a heavy trailer to try to roll dolly up. Easier to go down with a low trailer than to go up. So wait till you're close to empty, then just pull your pin pull forward just a little bit you don't pull forward all the way like I only pulled forward just enough and we'll show you so if something does happen it'll fall back down on top of my fifth wheel now granted I'm far enough where it's not connected but I'm close enough so if something happens the trailer drops landing gear gives way you fall right back on top of your fifth wheel so always make sure you do that I just thought I'd give this quick PSA announcement. Now I tell y'all, if you're in a tanker, the best thing you can invest in is a level. You get you a level, and what I do, like the brace they have right here, you know that's gonna go even with the freaking flow of the trailer. So you take and you put a level right here and look and see what your bubble is. Then you'll know if you have fall or not. Best in a little cheap $3 level, y'all. I put a level on that, like, nope, I don't have enough fall. So that's why I did what I did, y'all. So I know I'm gonna get the product out. So, this is a short tip I thought I'd give y'all. This isn't a long video, just a quick, short video, giving y'all some unload tips. And we hope everybody has a good, safe, blessed day. And we will see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace out. 
Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go